Hello there. Um, so another one of the games that I've been looking at fairly recently, and one that I wanted to talk about, uh, is a game called Chosen Men, which is this one from Mark Latham, which I will go into in a little bit more detail soon. But I thought it'd be a good chance to dive into looking at some of the miniatures that I've been using to get myself started in this. So here you can see the kit. Um, one of the shows that I've been watching recently that has totally captured my imagination once again is Sharp, uh, the classic TV series um, starring Sean Bean. And due to watching a whole bunch of interviews with people on the painting phase and, and loads of other videos, weirdly, very recently, I've been very enamored by the idea of doing some Napoleonic Wargaming. And one of the nice things about uh, The Chosen Men is that the game is very much focused on skirmish wargaming, so it's not the massive rank-and-file stuff um, where you're moving huge units around the tabletop. It's a lot more focused than that, uh, where you can essentially take almost as few as like 20 miniatures per side uh, and have a little battle, which I think is going to be really cool. And um, obviously I was going to dive in and make Sharp and the rest of the Chosen Men and his uh, rifleman, of course. And uh, I thought it would be a good opportunity to dive in and paint something different and also work on Napoleonics. Now, I will stress that I have very little experience when it comes to painting Napoleonic uniforms, and so I will probably have got a lot of this wrong. But uh, I thought it would be a great chance to pick up the plastic set that you can get from War Games Atlantic, which is this one here. It comes with 32 models in the set. Uh, there are quite a few um, sprues packed into this, allowing you to make a lot of models that could be used to make a skirmishing force or something a lot larger. And the nice thing about this is that it comes with all the bits and pieces that you would need in order to make a certain uh, <laughs> a certain character who has risen from the ranks and his chosen men uh, ready to take on all comers across the battlefield. So that's the box. Uh, big chunky one from War Games Atlantic, as you would have guessed. Loads of options in there and relatively cheap for what you're getting. That means you get a whole bunch of these sprues which come duplicated throughout the kit. You get a variety of different bodies to choose from. So you've got a couple of them there with the legs and bodies attached, which is the standard for War Games Atlantic stuff. You've then got a kneeling pose. And then you have the legs here, which can then be given this torso, which allows you to make a uh, either like an officer character, as you can see, with the jacket there, or just that body there with the sack and stuff on the back. The kit. You then get a variety of weapons to choose from. Now, obviously, these fellows are going to be using rifles rather than the muskets that were given to the regular infantry at the time. So you've got your three round a minute rifles ready to go with loads of different options for you to choose from. You've got them uh, sort of on the ground, resting, ready to be reloaded. You've got one where you're pouring the powder in. You've got them just jogging along with them. So you can make a really nice skirmishing set of models, which is good to see. There's plenty of uh, swords and sidearms for you to choose from as well. You've got pointing hands, gripping hands, full closed fist as well there. There's also a volley gun, because of course there is, because you need to give that to Harper. Uh, and then you've got the backpacks at the same time too. And then, of course, it comes to the heads. So if we flip these over, you've got the regular rifleman heads there, as you can see, with their hats and their little feathers coming out the top. So you've got those for your regular rifleman. And then if you want to make some suave and debonair chosen men, you've got these blackguards here. So you've got a harper face, uh, the sharp one, and then the rest of the crew there too which is nice to see uh, allowing you to essentially make all the characters that served as part of the regiment um, and uh, Sharp's little band of heroes uh, across the different series even the one even the guy who had a fallout with the production company I suppose if you wanted to you could uh, play around with that because you've got bandanas and all sorts of different things in there which is good to see 
There's even a bugle in the set, and you've got uh, the sword arm with the saber out front, which is good to see. So it's a nice little pack and comes with quite a few of these. I think you get like, what, so there's 32 in the set. So yeah, I think there's like six of these for you to choose from. It's kind of cool. Uh, someone will correct me in the comments if I'm slightly wrong on that fact, but you do get a whole bunch of these to play around with. And uh, yeah, very detailed and easy to put together as well. There's no instructions in the set because it's quite easy because you essentially are just plugging playing with all the weapons and stuff. And you can make a whole bunch of different poses depending on what you want from your unit. Like if you want them to be slightly more regimented, then you can obviously go with that vibe. Or if you want to turn them into skirmishes, you can do. The set also doesn't come with bases. Obviously, some of the miniatures come with the puddles on the. Well, you can see they all come with the puddles there. Um, but then you can mount them on rounds or squares, depending on what you want to play. Because I'm looking at Chosen Men, the basing for these chaps is going to be round, because I think it works nicer for skirmish modes uh, than the squares. Although, of course, if you're regimenting things, then you want to go with that. You can obviously just put them onto larger scenic bases if you're playing uh, the likes of Black Powder and stuff in your games. And yes, I have painted one. And of course, I would paint Mr. Richard Sharp as the first miniature. And now I tried to get this as close to the colours that I expect for Sharp from the TV series. So I did a lot of Google image searching for Mr. Sean Bean, uh, which, you know, was no bad thing. He's a lovely gentleman. Uh, I think I got it quite well. I might do a little bit of extra highlighting on the green to try and bring it up a bit, but I think it actually works quite nicely. Um, as it is, obviously dealing with his blonde hair and his uh, annoyed expression on his face. And he is ready to go. I've then got the rest of the crew here as well. So there's Harper with his volley gun. And he's also got his side arm mother ready as well. Rushing forward to aid Sharp in the midst of danger. And then here are the rest of the chosen men. It's, it's so annoying. I've been looking at so many other things at the moment that I've forgotten their names, but I'm sure people can remind me of these. So I'm going to have one of these as the young chap, and then the other two are going to be the older gentlemen that uh, fight alongside him. So I might use him as the younger fellow who, uh, spoilers for Sharp, the old series, dies as they're trying to get to that church in Spain. And he tries to save the men, but he doesn't realize that people have betrayed him. And then these two are going to be the fellows that followed him all the way through to La Hesson and uh, the battle at the farm at Waterloo. So, yeah, really nice kits. They go together really well. Uh, ooh, and I flung that miles away. Thankfully, these plastics are nice and robust, so they will not break. So, yes, lots of fun stuff there to be playing with. And uh, as I say, I'll be looking at playing Chosen Men with these. I'll have a video maybe out middle of the week talking a little bit more about Chosen Men and going through the book because it's quite an interesting one, and it seems to be like a... Yeah, this seems like a fine rule set for getting an intro into Waterloo Napoleonic gaming, so definitely going to be checking that one out. So, yeah, Sharp's at the ready. I've got some Napoleonics, good to go. Because of the points that you get in uh, Chosen Men, probably going to have about five or six... Well, I think it's five riflemen. One of them will be Sergeant Harper with the volley gun, and then I'll have Major Sharp... So there's only, and there's going to be one chosen man as part of that set. So I'm going to have to make some basic riflemen to go with that. And then my for my sort of intro 150 point game, I think the other side is 10 French life, light infantry led by a lieutenant. Um, so I'm definitely going to be uh, putting together a fun little scenario that'd be a little Hollywood in design uh, just to test out the rules and see what I think of them. And uh, then from there, I'll hopefully go a little bit deeper because I'd love to add even more chosen men into the mix and have them go up against more Frenchies and uh, maybe some weird heart eating cannibals as well. That could be fun. Right. So yeah, uh, that was a look at the sprues and a little bit of a chat about what my plans are for the Napoleonic side of things. And uh, yeah, we shall see where things go in the near future with that. Just before I go, just a little teaser for something that I've got coming up. For one of my videos. Do, 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 do. Ooh, what could this be? Anyway, right. 
that's me for now. Uh, I'm going to move on and get stuck into another video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this little unboxing and chat about the Napoleonic stuff. Uh, if you've got any tips and tricks for me, please drop them down below, uh, including what you think of Chosen Men and everything else in between. Uh, I'm going to move on and get stuck into another video and maybe get distracted by an entirely different period of history because that seems to be the way that I'm going at the moment. Um, but yeah, I will be back soon. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will talk to you folks in another video very soon. Bye for now.